everybody, Ken here, CCG Vlog. Three events this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all at King's Hall. It's the first time we've ever done three days in a row at King's Hall. Should be a great way to finish out the last weekend of March. Which statistically, I know it's wild, you wouldn't think so. Statistically, um, the March month, the month, the month of March, March munch. Oh boy, try that again. The month of March is typically our busiest uh, of charity poker of the year. I don't know why. It's that weather's kind of in the perfect realm of it's not really snowing, but it's not really warm enough to get outside yet. People are still itching to get some poker in. You know, all kinds of good stuff going on. Spring break happens. You know, there's some cool stuff happens in March. But anyways, um, it's been a great month so far. We're going to finish it out at one of our best locations at King's Hall. Three days in a row. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. March 25th, 26th, 27th. King's Hall, if you've never been there before, is the one off of 355 and North Avenue. It's right by the room place. People always get confused and get lost there. Um, but it's right by the room place. It's right next door. Uh, no ATM at the King's Hall, so make sure you stop and get some money first. A couple gas stations right there. But other than that, King's Hall is a great spot. It's a little dark. Okay, so I guess I'm thinking of more issues as we go on, but that's just the way it works. Uh, we will have some new TVs for March Madness. Um, we'll have that big ass big screen as well, but again, that's not a great TV. That's why we're going to have some other ones. But the nice part about King's Hall, what makes it such a good location is tournaments are always packed and the cash games are packed. Plus cash game players at King's Hall, you get 1.5x points for the points list for King's Hall, which means all three days this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, point and a half for cash game players only. Tournament players, you're still playing for your standard one for one points. Um, got all the good stuff this weekend. Friday is still the freeze out. Um, we're going to do a pop quiz here at the end of the vlog, so make sure you wait until the end and uh, you know get in on that because there is a free seat involved, so don't forget that. Friday, get the freeze out at 6.30. That's 30 can chips, uh, $120 buy-in, $10 add-on, 20-minute levels, and uh, limited to the first 60 players, and it's a freeze out. So no re-entries, no rebuys one and done that's it when you're out you're out you got to play cash games or do something else play the nine out which is a nice alternative so tournament players don't feel like you don't want to come to the friday night tournament it has not sold out the last two nights the last two fridays the last two weeks the friday night freeze up we have gone all the way to 8 30 for registration which means the registration time period is closed before the um we hit 60 player cap so definitely come out and see us this friday it's not as crazy as it was you know, a few weeks ago when we first started doing the freeze out when in all honesty, most people probably didn't know we were doing the freeze out. Anyways, freeze out, come out and see us, should be good. Saturday stacks, on the week Saturdays, we get 89 players. This past Saturday, I think we had like 90 players in the stack and I, we were all like, man, this feels light. It's a light Saturday. 90 player tournament and it was a light Saturday. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do when it's busy? Probably this Saturday, pushing in the 115 to 120 range. Last Saturday of the month, last opportunity for points. <clears throat> Should be a good one. Uh, come out and see us for that. And then Friday, I'm uh, sorry, then Sunday, lo and behold, we're still at King's Hall. Um, you got the $300 black chip bounty. Um, $100 bounties on each player. Um, late registration until 2.30. 40k in chips with your $10 add-on, so it's 310 all day. Um, typically at King's Hall, even before the points list and the crazy tournament record numbers, we were getting 60 or 70 for this tournament. So you might see an over 100 on this one, but even on a very conservative effort, you're still looking at 60 or 70. Last outs and bounties, it's a great tournament. So come out and see us this weekend, tournament players. Again, last weekend to earn points. Okay. To our contestants out there who have made it this long in the vlog, we're giving away three. Count them. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. It counts my favorite. My kid, my Harrison's my three-year-old son. He still digs the count. I like the count. It's funny. He was the same. He talked the same when I was a kid. Forty years later, he's still doing the same shit. It's great. I love the count. Anyways, three, three, three free seats for a 120 stack, which means you can use it for. Any, any $120 buy-in tournament. Uh, you can use it for a smaller buy-in too. So like if you want to do it for a $100 tournament, you could do that or a 50 or a 40 or a 20. And you don't get any credit. You only get one free seat. 
I recommend you use it for the big one, $120 buy in. So uh, three of those we're gonna give away. What I'm looking for is for players to comment below. Please comment below. Wherever you're watching this, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitters, whatever you're seeing it on, if you're smart, you're gonna post it on all of them because you get more chances to win. Post it on social media. What do you want to see from the Friday night tournament? Now please don't say, can we want unlimited chips, unlimited entry, unlimited guarantees, all the good stuff. Can't actually do that. Still gonna be $120 buy-in. Um, what we can change is the freeze out format. We can change the starting stack. We can change the blind levels. We can change the anti-structure. We can change any of those things. Here's kind of what we're going with. I think right now your best two options are one of two. Stay what we currently are doing. 60 player cap, no re-entry, 20 minute levels, 30K starting stacks with your $10 add-on. So basically the Friday format as we are now. Freeze out, 60K, 60 player cap, 30,000 starting stacks, and that's it. Alternative is if we started with less chips, so let's say we did 20K in chips rather than 30K, 20K starting stacks, 20 minute levels, you could do late registration for two hours and you would have a no cap because really at that point you can get almost another 33% worth of players which is like, you know, 80 players max which I hope we start to get those points where we have to worry about 80 player Friday deep stacks but I think that would be fine. I don't think you would need to have a player cap at that point because of 20k stacks. We could get more players in and have the same amount of chips in play versus 60 players you kind of hit that maximum chip count where the players are getting down to five or six players, which is not enough by one o'clock, one fifteen. We want them to be at you know one or two or three max, not five or six. So, what would you rather see in a Friday tournament? Stay where we are, freeze out, and player cap at sixty, or unlimited re-entry, no player cap, but you got to start with less chips, twenty k versus thirty k. So let me know. You want less chips or a capped tournament. What's better? What are you guys looking for? Leave a comment. Any comment is fine, but give me your opinion on what you want. It's not many times that somebody asks for your opinion in general, so please, I'm begging you for it, and I'm willing to pay you three free $120 CCG vouchers, good for any $120 tournament or less. Um, let us know. Leave a comment. Please, please, please. As always, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. We'll see you this weekend. Kensington Town, King's Hall. Should be a blast. Bye, everybody.